good morning students in the last class we have discussed recycling of paper wherein we have learned that paper is submerged in water for about a period of 24 hours then we will be making the paste of the paper thick paste and we will be placing it in a frame wire frame allowing it for draining the complete water followed by taking it out and spreading it adding some coloring agents and finally we are making recycled paper by pounding on it now let us learn the recycling of a plastic like paper plastics also can be recycled but only some kind of plastics can be recycled not all kinds of plastics if we just look into different materials that are made up of plastic are plastic toys plastic shoes plastic bags plastic pens combs toothbrushes buckets bottles and water pipes so many things are there plastic chairs are there so many things if we keep writing bunch of items will come okay all these things are made up of plastic only and actually the invention of plastic has made our life a lot of comfortable plastic is not present in nature naturally it is invented by human beings only the invention of plastic and use of plastics has made our lives so much comfortable but there are certain limitations of using this plastics or we can say that there are some harmful effects of using the plastics what is the limitation or what is the harm of using plastics instead of saying that is let us say what are the limitations or what are the harmful effects of using plastics as already said use of plastic made items has made our life comfortable limited and justified use of plastics does not create much problem but if plastics are used excessively and if people are ignorant about the ways of proper disposal of the waste created by plastics then much of the problems are going to arise being ignorant means not thinking about it neglecting about the results that is what called ignorant so if the people are ignorant about the proper ways of disposing the waste created by plastics then many problems arise so if we act irresponsibly about the use of plastics even after knowing the harmful effects of its excessive use then it may create more problems all kinds of plastics give out harmful gases upon heating or upon burning these gases that are released by the burning of plastics are harmful to our health sometimes we throw away the food wrapped in plastic covers if stray animals eat such thrown away food in plastic bags they may swallow the plastic also along with that food which may result their death which may result in their 
death also. The thrown away plastic bags on roads and other places may get into drains and even the sewer system. Then they can cause choking of drains and water spills on the roads, especially during the floods time. The water cannot go properly into these drains and water will be getting collected on the roads that may cause so many accidents or so many deaths also. In the news we might have come across during the floods how the water is flowing on the roads. Why the water is flowing on the roads? Why, why is it not going inside the drainage? One of the reasons is choking of drains and water spills on the roads. When choking of the drains takes place, water will get spilled on the roads. This is how sometimes during the time of floods, because of the plastics, the water may not be entering into drainage system properly. That may result in the water spillage on the roads. If we go to hotel and order the food and consume the food there itself, there will not be much problem. But sometimes we order the food from the hotel and the hotel people, they send that food wrapped in parcel cover, I mean plastic covers. So consuming of such food that is packed in plastic bags could be harmful to our health. Because if they are government approved plastic bags, it may not be having much problem. But many a times, many hotel people, they use recycled plastic bags to keep food items. The recycled plastic, it may easily react with the food and some toxic or poisonous materials enter into the food. If we eat such food, that will result in harmful effects to our health. So, one should avoid getting the food packed in plastic bags. So, what should we do? What precautions have to be taken by us in the use of plastic in storage of food? Government has laid down certain guidelines for recycle of for recycling of plastics. And one should follow these guidelines for recycling the plastics. And for storage of food items, usage of plastic bags can be avoided on priority basis. Okay, if you cannot avoid, at least only government approved plastic bags can be used for food storage. Otherwise, we have to avoid storing the food in plastic bags. Okay. What can we do to minimize overuse of plastics and deal with garbage? What can we do to minimize overuse of plastics and deal with garbage? There are so many ways that we can do to minimize overuse of plastics and to deal with the plastic garbage. First thing, making a minimum use of plastic and reuse of the bags under possible conditions. Okay, so we should first of all minimize the use of plastic. Sometimes if it is inevitable, instead of simply throwing away the used bags, we can reuse the same bags, not recycling and using the recycled bags, reusing the same bags 
under passable conditions. Instead of using plastic bag, we can use paper or cloth bag for shopping. And we can insist the shopkeepers to use paper bag or cloth bag instead of plastic bags. Nowadays it is observed in many areas. Not using plastic bags to store vegetables, not only vegetables, any food item storage can be avoided. Okay, storage of food items can be avoided by using plastic bags. Not throwing the plastic bags randomly after uses. We must throw the plastic bags in a proper way. So disposal of plastic bags must be done in a proper way. We should not burn the plastic bags and other plastic items because we have learned that they may release toxic gases. We should not throw the garbage by keeping it in plastic bags. We should not throw the garbage by keeping it in plastic bags. Instead of that, we can use proper dust bins. We have learned that blue bin, green bin for dry waste, blue bin for wet waste, green bin, we can use it, which will be collected by Safai Karmacharis. So we must avoid throwing the garbage by keeping it in plastic bags. And we must use the kitchen waste in vermicomposting. Instead of throwing it, we can use the kitchen waste in vermicomposting and composting process so that manure can be prepared. And we can use the recycled paper bags for bringing certain items from the shops and all. While writing, we can all the things, recycling of paper, all the things, kitchen waste, from these points onwards, we have to think about, it is about dealing with garbage. Because the question has asked, what can we do? What can we do to minimize overuse of plastics? And what can we do to deal with garbage? So until point six, we have learned about minimizing the overuse of plastics. From point seven onwards, it is about to deal with the garbage. So in the garbage, waste paper, kitchen waste, all these things will come. So seventh point onwards, we are discussing about dealing with garbage. Using the kitchen waste in vermicomposting, we can recycle the paper and use the same thing instead of simply throwing it away. Instead of using new paper in a very rough work time, we can use, instead of using only one side of the paper to do some rough work. We can use both sides of paper to write. Instead of using paper, you can use slate. Slate can be rubbed many times and it can be reused. And we can use blank sheets of leftover pages from the notebooks. Instead of simply throwing the notebooks. After using the notebook, sometimes we may get left with many blank papers. We can use those blank papers for our rough work. And many of our family members, friends and others may not be having proper awareness for disposing different kinds of wastes in a proper ways. We must give the awareness to our family, friends and others to follow proper practices for disposing different kinds of wastes. Awareness, having proper awareness is a key thing in bringing the change in any problem. And always remembering the fact that if we generate more garbage, it will be more difficult to get rid of it. Everyone must remember this thing. If we generate more garbage, it will be more difficult to get rid of it. This must be remembered by everyone and this message must be passed on to everyone so that everyone will think about 
if we are generating more garbage it is going to come in return in the form of uh, different problems okay so this is what different ways of processing the garbage so totally this chapter is dealing with what is garbage and what are different ways of processing the garbage there are four ways of processing the garbage filling in landfill composting vermicomposting and finally recycling so these four ways are actually framed based on the matter that is present in the garbage in garbage two types of things are present useful components and non useful components non useful component it cannot be made into manure or it cannot be recycled such things are called non useful component they can be filled in landfill and useful components are two types recyclable and non recyclable recyclable are dry waste plastic paper metal etc non recyclable are wet waste leafy material plant material cow dung other any other animal dung animal waste material such things can be used for composting and for recomposting so that we can prepare manure or vermicompost and finally recyclable items plastic paper all these things they can be recycled and second quality items can be prepared and can be used for less important works instead of using new plastic or new paper we can use recycled plastic or recycled paper for the little low important works like bringing clothes we can use recycled bag bringing some grocery we can use recycled bags okay so all these things can be done so this is what four ways of processing the garbage in next class we'll discuss about keywords exercises of this chapter then followed by we can start our revision of entire 16 chapters thank you